Are you listening to this episode on Himalaya? If you are, congratulations, because you're already using the best new podcast app out there. If you're not, well, you're a loser and missing out, so get it together. Uh, Whether you're a podcaster or a fan, Himalaya is designed with you in mind and has a ton of cool new features like curated shareable playlists and collections made just for you, along with personalized recommendations to help with content discovery. And the best part is, it's super easy to use. It's definitely my favorite listening app, and I'm sure it will be yours too. So do yourself a favor and download Himalaya today, and be sure to follow my show, Worst Firsts, once you're there. Bye. Guys, welcome back to Worst First. Thank you so much to everyone who's been tuning in. We are doing so well. We are ranked super high in the comedy podcast section. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to find that because I have no idea myself, but they sent me the numbers and apparently we're doing great. They're probably lying wow. to me, but you know, that's okay. I believe Today that. we have... A young Willem Dafoe yeah. in our presence. <laughs> I literally, Don't get everyone excited. You look so much like Willem Dafoe, and all my audience is like eighteen, probably that they're like, "Who the fuck is Willem they're Dafoe?" They're googling. He played the Green Goblin in. What was yes, it? Which, that wasn't the young Willem, Willem Dafoe. But, what, what, is that the you're thinking of me as Green Goblin <laughs> Dafoe? Because if so, then I feel differently. Am Guys. I speed to cruise <laughs> control Dafoe? Guys. In the bathtub with the locusts. <laughs> Guys, John, R- John Rudnitsky. Rudnitsky? Yeah. Rudnitsky. Rudnitsky. Yes, yes. Like Paul Rudd. Nitsky. Rudd. I Paul, have a story about that, John actually. Paul Rudnitsky. I have a Paul Rudnitsky story. <laughs> is here. He's a comedian, obviously, you guys. He was just in, what is the show you're on who live with? Catch-22. Catch-22 with yeah, George yeah. Clooney. With the Clooney what himself. What the hell? Crazy, right? Oh I my, know. is it out right now? It's out on Hulu. Oh my God, guys, if anyone has a Hulu and <laughs> not Netflix. <laughs> I think of you as like Netflix. hip and up to date, but you're like, I don't know how you get these podcast numbers. <laughs> if you numbers guys know about at the, the Hulus Hulu. and the Dulus. Yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, a Hulu cost a nickel. Yeah, you know, and now yeah. it's a whole nine ninety nine a month. It's <laughs> fucking crazy. Um, no, if you have Hulu, guys, if you still have Hulu, watch John. If yeah. not, he's a fucking hilarious comedian. And you live in L.A., you have to come watch him. Come perform. to a show, yeah. I've never seen him perform, but he, I know he's funny just from talking to him for five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Here, I just did Conan. You know, he you just can, did Conan. You can watch O'Brien. my set, uh, set online. And, oh, uh, did you're stand-up. so famous. What's I'm that very, like? Very famous. You're seriously been so. It's hard to go. It's hard to go anywhere. You did a movie, another movie before this one with <laughs> yeah. George Clooney. Who was it with you? Re- with Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon, guys. Like he's like. It's literally... a major work with so many famous people, and still, uh, uh, nobody knows who I am at all. Well, we're gonna know who you are well, after this we'll podcast, work, guys. Google him. He's single, right? Uh, I I am not actually. Oh, he's not single anymore. Just kidding. Never mind. Unfollow him. Yeah. <laughs> Unfollow. Unsubscribe. Unlike I did, the podcast. I posted, I'm just a, I posted a, a girlfriend a, pic. A girlfriend pic on Valentine's Day. Oh. I lost a bunch of followers, did which I found flattering. Which you know what? When I, I started, when flattering. I got, when I started dating Tommy, I lost a hundred thousand followers. Holy shit. One, the fact that you had that many to lose is awesome. And you take that as a compliment. I was so upset at first because I was like, uh, what the fuck? Cause all these, and then all these guys started sliding into my DMs and going, oh, now you have hepatitis. So I never, all my dreams of you are ruined and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, um, my husband's been cured of hepatitis for like 10 years. He has no STDs. Like I'm so health, like paranoid yeah. that I like made him get tested for everything before we even like start hooking up. Right. But it was so funny. Yeah, guys like wrote to me. But those guys... DMing you yeah. angri- angry, angrily from angry. their basement. So angry. In Michigan with their or wherever. Clenching their dicks. Those guys have hepatitis. Those are the guys with that are fully diseased. No? They're, what are they pissed <laughs> off at you about? <laughs> they were so mad. How many followers did you lose? Uh, like a, maybe a thousand, maybe. I don't That's have. That's a I don't lot. Have, I don't have. You know, I have like 40,000 But that's still I'm really good. Like don't a, say it like it's nothing. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I no. mean, 40,000 people following you is a lot of people. Sure, I guess that's true. It's I don't know, I, you know. Imagine a lot of them are like Ariana Grande heard. fan 39 or whatever. Whatever. Did, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. it counts. It's a human. Yeah. That is Hopefully. a human. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's hard to know. It might be a bot. Bots. It's they're, okay. they're real. You the bought bot, all your followers. The bots, <laughs> the bots are real. But aren't you happy that all, you really lost the 100,000 that you lost or the you trim the fat? Yeah, that's a lot of dick pics. It's a lot of dick, D- unneeded, DMs. unwanted dick pics. And yeah. by the way, I get no dick pics anymore. You don't? None. None. 
None. And, you, and don't and start sending them to me now, guys, that you heard this, because I don't fucking want them. I don't want to see you your purple them. miscolored penises, okay? I've wow, seen enough of those. a lot of miscolored penises. A lot of different colors. You can adjust the filter. I literally thought that, like, I'd seen all the dicks, you know, until I got... <laughs> you did? <laughs> until all I got... The dicks. All the dicks. You're like, I was certain I'd seen them all. That's a dumb statement. <laughs> I was certain I'd seen, like, I mean, I've seen my fair share of dicks. Mm. I'm not a slut. Right. But I definitely have. You're well versed in dicks. I've, I've seen dicks. I've dated, you know, all different races and all different faces. You've done the Baskin from all Robbins different places. 31 flavors of dicks. You've done a Rocky Road. You've done a. Oh, man, have I seen some Rocky Roads? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, yeah. guys, yeah. okay, so the whole premise of the podcast is you tell me yeah. about a worst experience that's sure. happened to you in your life. Yeah, it could yeah. be anything. It could be like a ghost story. It could be, which we haven't had yet. Yeah. So I'd love one if you have oh, one. Oh, I didn't have a, a ghost story. Right, you know what, John? Just get the fuck out. I could, <laughs> I could leave. I could leave right now. No, no, no. I, a ghost story or like a, a dating story or a drug experience or maybe like- I was know. thinking of like a first stand-up gig was something that yes, entered my mind horrible, when right? I talked about it. The first time I got a, a road gig, quote unquote. Oh, God. Uh, it was like a- Somebody had told me there was like a, a competition. This is like when uh, Instagram had first started oh or something. Oh my God. And you had the, the, like make a six second clip and you could open for Louis Anderson in Las Vegas. So I was like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll try it. And I, and I got it. Oh my God. And, and, and then I called my friends. I'm like, we're, we're playing. I'm doing Vegas. I'm doing a show I'm in Vegas. For Louis Anderson. Yeah. So That's we huge. all get, we all pack into the car and we drive to Vegas. And then it's like, we drive past the strip. And we're in downtown Vegas, which is very different than the Vegas that you think. And it's at the Plaza Hotel, which was is like horrible. Everything's right? wet. Everyone's, everything's wet. Yeah, like everything's like leaky. You oh know, you God. walk in, everyone's in a four wheel scooter. There's like buckets cl collecting <laughs> drips, like everywhere. No, there's not even buckets. They've given They're up on the buckets. The bucket. the, they gave up on buckets. They, can't, they can't afford. They don't have it in the. Uh, they don't have a bucket budget. Oh at the my plaza. God! And. Uh, I go and, oh, and we're, we have one room. The waters are like half drank. You know, the bottles of water in the room. Ew. We're like, we're like, They're is... like, here's your green room. Sorry yeah, it's yeah. green. It's green with mold, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, do, do your best with it. Yeah, and we, um, and then you get into the venue and it's like, you know, it smells like cigarettes from 20 years ago. And uh, Louis backstage and. Why was he playing this shithole? I don't. He had like a residency there, you know, and he has fans, and he and he's great, and obviously, like, but like I didn't know what I was doing. You right, know? right, right. And he calls me into his dressing room, and he's like, and he goes, "Let me hear some of your jokes," which is not something that you I really had, like, do. No, yeah, not, you're like, really they can't. I'm not gonna do my set in and front then of I'm you. I'm like going through my jokes, and he's like, "Yeah, you can't say suck my dick to the crowd or whatever." He's like going through my bits and like adjusting them, and I only have ten minutes of material at this point. That's not great to begin with. And I go out there, and the place is like a quarter filled. What kind of audience is that we talking? Yeah, it was like youngest is twelve years old, and then oldest is a hundred and twelve, oh. and then there's nothing in between. Oh my god, it's just you a know? bunch of twelve and a hundred and twelve year olds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just, yeah. My god. And and then my friends in the back who are who, just like, Woo, yeah, yeah. Thanks for bringing no, us to the shithole, John. No, no, yeah, never no, going on a trip with you again. Ever, ever, because we were all psyched, and then every, every, bit by bit. It just kept getting worse and worse. And so I'm doing my act and it's just, and I'm adjusting it as I'm going through. You know, I'm saying, you know, weenie instead of dick. And oh, like, like trying, God, you know, just like, making it so, so cheesy. cheesy. And it just oh. like doesn't work. And All the 12 year olds are like, what a pussy. <laughs> you can't even say dick. <laughs> <laughs> All the 12 year olds are like ripping on you. Yeah, They're like, wow, yeah, what, a, yeah. what a fucking idiot. You yeah, can't yeah, even exactly. say dick. Yeah. What a fucking lame ass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. This guy said weenie, I'm out of here. <laughs> Oh my god! They're booing me! Wow! Well, no, I got like silence. The only people laughing were my friends. Oh, they were the, laughing because the they felt bad for you because it was so bad. Oh no! And then in the middle of my act, a big screen starts coming down. No, like super slowly, and it just says you're fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it should have. It should have. What did and it, it was, say? It on was it? for the intro video for Louis. Oh god! Yeah, yeah, but you know they they lowered the screen in the middle of my act, and then it lights, and then it stops, and I'm like quiet for the whole time, and then it lights up bright blue, and then I remember I just said, uh, "All right, I I guess that's the I end guess of the that's com my light. I guess it's the end of the <laughs> it's pretty light, aggressive right? light. I know. I said that's the end of the comedy portion of the show. Uh, now I'm going to tell you why you should invest in gold. 
and pretended to do a PowerPoint presentation. That's the only thing that got a That's laugh. That's funny. Time. Yeah, that was that was pretty good on the fly. But I was uh, a nervous. I was a nervous wreck. Uh, well, how old were you? Uh, twenty two. Oh my god, so young. How old yeah. are you now? Twenty nine. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah, you look like a refreshed forty five. Do look I good. look a little? I look a little haggard. I look. I've got some mileage. Comedy does I it sound to you. like. Do you smoke? Uh, weed, just weed. Just weed. Yeah. No cigarettes. No cigarettes. You look like a smoker. I do. <laughs> my God, this is rough. Do I look like a? I look. I sound. No, you, no, you sound like honest. a smoker. You can be honest. I look like, like you a young. You sound like you know. You do your comedy. I, know, I sound like an old Jewish woman. Yes. When you do your comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's yeah, great though. That I play mahjong you know on my good time off. You look like you are mature, but it's good. Okay. Not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Handsome. I look like I've maybe seen some stuff. You look like you've been through some shit. Yeah. But it's it's good. I'm moisturizing. We like that. Nobody wants to like look at some fucking guy who never looks like he's been through some shit. I guess that's right. I want. I I like to as I get older be a little. I like a little leathery look. Oh, leathery. No, you don't look leathery. leathery. Don't worry. (laughs) Like I, if I don't look like a handbag in two years, I'm out of here. Like I need to look like an old handbag. So that's horrible. Yeah. I mean, we've all been there. I like used to do not. Like I never got to the place of you doing stand up, but I used to yeah. do open mics all the time, and I man, did I eat a bunch of hot shit sandwiches. Like. I mean, I have bombed. I mean, SNL was like you did but, SNL. Yeah, you were on SNL. I was on SNL. Okay, so you need to tell me about how that happens. Well, like I you can audition. tell you all about that yeah. process, and yeah, I, I can also tell you about it. bombing at a table read at SNL because that's like you know eating shit at the highest level. You Ooh, know, whatever, that's fuck like, them. Who cares? Some yeah, of the, yeah, most of their shit's not even funny anyway. Yeah. Uh, no offense to SNL, but um. <laughs> They're like, you're never hired anyway. Um, <laughs> and like Lauren listening. No, he's like listening. He's like, fuck Lauren, this chick. What we, happened? we hate what her. Happened uh, no, I mean, yeah. you know, I, I when I was doing Vine, they were like, you know, come on, come audition or whatever. Yeah. I, and Did I would, you do it? No, I wasn't confident enough. Hmm. And they never wanted, they never wanted me anyway. So. You should have. You had more viewers on your vines than they do on, on their Saturday show. Night, I know, but yeah. you know what? They, I don't think it was real. I think it was like they were like my agents were like, "Well, put a package together and like we'll send it to them or whatever." And I was like, "It's not going to happen anyway." Yeah. Um, but I yeah, mean, I definitely didn't think it was going to happen. I mean, I had hoped and prayed that it was possible. So what happened was yeah, tell that me how I it had, happens. Um, you you submit a, a character thing for your agents. Um, well, right? no, what happened was I got an audition for Just for Laughs in Montreal, right, which right. is like the big comedy, comedy festival. festival yeah. uh, they do there, and they do this thing called New Faces every right, year. Did you do faces. Did you do no. this? Uh, where um, yeah, they invite like twenty stand ups, mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that the industry needs to know about. Right, right, right. You know. And they invite SNL, and they invite Fallon, Booker's, and NBC uh-huh. casting directors, whoever. And so I got the I got a call back for Just for Laughs, and I was two years really into doing stand up consistently, uh-huh. opening up for other people. And I knew I wasn't going to get new faces. I wasn't there, right? You know, in my act, I I auditioned with some jokes, and the fact that I got a call back, I was like, well, I should do something different for my callback even though they're expecting me right, to do my stand up and I yeah. come up with this bit where I come out to the dirty dancing I've had the time of my life song and I do all the choreo- choreography with an imaginary Jennifer Grey all the way up into the lift and then I drop her and then she's dead so but I try to revive her but she's a goner and then I gotta get rid of the body and everyone but still, watches this whole thing but I'm still dancing the yeah. whole time and it's all like a mime like dance there's no actual doll or anything there's no doll you're just improv I'm just like yeah, yeah, yeah like throwing pretending. her up yeah, dead. and I'm like oh no I'm crying but I'm like it's fine you know yeah. and then I drive home to my wife and kids and then the cops come and I get a shoot out with the cops and then I die and you and, act this whole and thing it takes out the whole song by yourself yeah so uh, I come up with that in between the audition and the callback, and I said, oh, this is really fun. If I go out for my callback, they expect me to do jokes, and I just come out to the song, I don't say anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're going to at least remember me. Right, right, right. And then they flew me to Montreal to, to, to do this weird they loved <laughs> crazy it. dance. That's they, like they when like, Will Ferrell's, yeah. like, what, his SNL audition was like him play as a, play, uh, pretending as a cat. he was a cat mm-hmm. playing with a ball of yarn. Mm-hmm. Like, they love the dumbest shit. Yeah. Okay, so that's so silly. So you it's did so that silly. At- I did that at, at JFL, and then SNL was there. They asked me to showcase in LA, and then they asked me to screen test the 30 Rock. So, what's showcasing in LA mean? Like, you audition? Put together, yeah, an audition of characters and impressions. Uh huh. So, I'm like throwing together. Oh my God. Yeah. How stressed were you? So stressed, but it, like on. You know, autopilot. I was like very much in the zone and like, okay, this is, yeah, is this my chance. You know, yeah. could I, could I really do this? 
And then I was in the parking lot in Minnesota at a casino about to perform for a bunch of elderly people. And I get a call from Lauren Michaels saying that I got the job. He called you directly? He called me directly. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you still have his number? Um, I still have the office number. I'm I did call actually, right I called back. I remember I got a missed call. I accidentally double clicked. So it was a 212 number. And I called back and it's like NBC Universal. And I said, uh, I think maybe SNL called me and they just hung up on me. And then I got a. And because of that, I have a voicemail that says... Do you know how many calls they probably get like that a day? Yeah, right. uh, hey, I think it was a call from yeah, SNL. Yeah. Me, like, right, Christine, right. 45, living right. in Brooklyn by herself, <laughs> been doing improv for years. No, nobody called? Okay, all right, well. Is Christine, um, 45, her, her <laughs> AIM name, or is it her AIM name? Yeah, AIM, I love it. My is audience it, doesn't know what AIM is. They don't know what AIM is. Guys, that's AIM. That's how we used to communicate <clears throat> back in the day oh when we gosh. were... There were dinosaurs. Yeah. So, so, so you—you you have to tell me how to talk to your fans because no. I feel I just watched Euphoria on HBO. Oh, it's that's incredible. It. I heard that was intense. It's incredible, but I'm like, I'm like, I'm old. I don't. I'm, I'm, 29. Okay, and, I'm older than you, so now I yeah, feel you, really no, old. But you know. You know how people talk. I feel like an old man. He's all backpedaling. He's I like, really, uh, but you're uh, I, But I don't think of you as old. But all the Botox you got. <laughs> Cut your age in half. Uh, you're like 15, right? I mean, uh, you've been getting it for years. Uh, who knows? You just got uh, my Vince, but I Yeah, uh, God, I got nervous. Uh, okay, so wait. So you have to continue your story. So you got called by Lauren Michaels. <clears> you booked the <throat> SNL job. Then how does that happen? You book SNL, and then where do you go from there? I, you have to pick up and move to New York. So you moved to New York. I moved to New York, and then you're like thrust into it. You're thrown in the deep end. I was the only new like hire that time, year. Like what time, what are your hours like? Monday you go in and pitch. So the first week, Miley, what time? Miley Cyrus is the host. Uh, you go in in the evening on a Monday, like a 4 p.m. Oh, that's great. Situation. I'm thinking like 8 a.m., 12-hour days. No, now. but you'll see. It kind of spins out. So okay. Monday you go and you cram into Lauren's office, all the writers and uh, cast and... Miley Cyrus is at the front or whoever's hosting that week. And then Lauren goes around and you wait till he says your name and then you pitch a funny idea or hope that it's an a funny idea, idea for the host's intro. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So sketch you have to write ideas. something funny about what the host could say. Yes. And then you pitch it. Uh, a, a sketch idea for them. Oh, a sketch idea for the host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I'd be so good at this with all the sketches I did on Vine. Yeah. So wait. So what happens? That's what I'm saying. You, you, you would write your sketch. You would write your sketch out, and then you. Uh, no, you wouldn't even write your sketch out on Monday. You just pitch an idea. Just and then the Tuesday idea. night, you go and and you write the show. So you, I get there like two thirty. You get there at like two thirty on a Tuesday, uh -huh. and then I would sleep there on Tuesday nights uh -huh. and wake up there Wednesday. But you're writing all night, and you're going around to writers, pitching them ideas, and being uh -huh. like, "Would you?" Because you're basically re-auditioning for your job every week. Are you writing the whole show? No, no, no. You're, you're just writing your. You're stuff. trying to get yourself in the show, especially as a new cast member, oh. because nobody's really doing that for you. I mean, uh -huh. you can try to find writers who want to write with you. Uh -huh. My first week, I was lucky. I. I had an idea for a Miley sketch. It was like a Grease dance, you know? Uh -huh. And I'm um, like a Danny Zuko. I'm like, oh, that's the new girl. And then, she, you know, it's like a Bop Shoe Bop kind of song. Uh -huh. And then she, like, takes off her clothes and she's Miley and she licks my face and talking about, like, Pop and Molly. And I'm like, I don't know about this. Oh, you that's know, funny. You know? you know, so that was, like, my pitch. And <clears throat> the writer was like, great, we'll work on it. You know, we come up with, like, a little song. Like, you take a nap, you know? I, I go take a nap. I come back. Song's written the next morning. Wednesday morning, I'm with Miley and the cast members, and we're in a room. The music's been made, and we're singing the song. And then we go to the table read, and we're like, you know, early on in the table read, which is a whole other thing, because uh, it's like a four hour table read. This is stressful. Very stressful. And fast. Very stressful and fast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Something you write on Tuesday has the potential to be, you know, on the show on, the show on, on Saturday. Saturday. So, like, you know, I have like a pirate sketch and. Then there's a pirate ship built uh, Saturday, you know, with everybody and all this stuff. And it was like a dumb brain fart of an idea at they 5 a.m. Like, they were like, John, Wednesday. you're like, uh, pirates, uh, yeah, 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 Molly, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, Miley Cyrus. Oh, they're like, we love it. Make it happen. <laughs> exactly. We're writing the music right I mean, now. I wish, I mean, my first week went well, and then I struggled a lot throughout the rest of the show. But so to, Tuesday you write stuff, then you hope that it makes it to the table read. Right, right, right. Then if it makes it to the table read, you hope that it's in the beginning portion of the uh -huh. table read, because if you're you know, an hour three, then people are kind of burnt out. Right. And so that's all important. And then after the table read, you wait like an hour as they deliberate what's going to make it to the dress rehearsal. So then like a high school musical, you're coming out looking at what sketches they circled on the board. And then 
Uh, and uh, and then and then if you get picked, then you go and you, you sit down with the set and the props and this, and, oh you, and, you, and you're like, uh, yeah, I think they'd be wearing this. I think they, they would look like this. And then they go and build that. Jesus. And Every week? Thursday, Friday, you rehearse. Fr- fr- early Friday, they're doing pre-tapes. Late Friday, they're doing pre-tapes. You could be up all night on a pre-tape, you know, like doing a commercial right, or, right, a pre- right. you know, something like that. Saturday, you're rehearsing. Then there's dress rehearsal after in front of an audience. After dress rehearsal, you pack into Lauren's office again. There's a board with the order of the show. Everything in the right for this column is everything that got cut. So that's how you find out if something you worked on all week is just not going to make it. Oh, my and God. And your sketch can still get cut uh, for time on air. So they'll be like, oh, we're not doing that. You know, you can find out last minute, change out of that, you know. So, yeah. It sounds like a fucking shit show. It's a shit show. Then you like, are after the- Like, how the fuck the, does uh, anyone yeah. know what they're doing? Oh, we got the sketch, and then we got that one. Oh, do you have the music for that? And then uh, Pirates, Molly, just, and uh, it's, it's, Cyrus, it's, basketball hoops, exactly. and fucking exactly. Matt Unicorns, and uh, Rock just, Mustache. Uh, uh, that's how I felt the entire time. Yeah, it's like, I would you, hate you, you, that. You, yeah. it's, you're, you're spinning out, and you're constantly- Freaking, yeah, you're constantly freaking and out. And I already have, like, the worst anxiety, so I'd probably you, lose you, my shit. You, you wouldn't love it. And then I there's the after party yeah, on Saturday. And, and then, then the after after that, party, right? I would. Well, I'd drink to either, like, celebrate a good week or, like, to deal with a bad week. And then, like, 8 a.m. on Sunday, I'd come back, and then Monday, you're back pitching again. Were you miserable? Be honest. I was both miserable and loving it. But, yeah, I was. I had a tough time. It, it was, was stressful. T- yeah, I'm 25. You're I've got my so dream young. job. yeah, yeah. yeah. And and I and that, this was like my first big thing, you know. Mm-hmm. But it was I was overwhelmed and felt like oh, I was I felt like I was fucking up my dream, you know. Because, and then what happened? So how did everything go south? Well, you know, it's just I I, I always say I just kind of failed more than I succeeded at the job. You know, it's like a test run there. It's not like it's normal sketches. for people to to get fired after yeah. you know they're constantly renewing your contractor yeah. uh, or not right right and they're like John this pickles and shoelace sketch we don't know what the fuck <laughs> yeah, how much yeah. Robitussin you've been drinking <laughs> like we are just not although I kind of sure. wish I did a pickles and shoelace <laughs> like, sketch uh, okay guys so everyone's like, pickles and then they have their jump roping with shoelaces <laughs> and then we all take Molly and we lick <laughs> Miley's Sorry, fucking pussy yeah, yeah yeah that's we don't great know. that's the sketch See, you, you guys get been it? Good at this. No, been, you would have been good at terrible. this. Terrible. That's yeah. so. That's crazy. So that's <laughs> annoying. So what do they do? They just came up to you one day and they're just like, you know what, John, this isn't working out. Um, no, I wish it went down like that. I got an, I got a call from my agents that I wasn't coming back. Oh, they and go I thought to the agents. Yeah. So you're like waking up one morning, you think you're just getting like a nice call, good morning call from your agent. He's like, oh, you don't have to go into the office today. I was. No wo- one wants to see you. Yeah, I, it's pretty devastating. Is it like, like that? I, yes. Well, they were basically like. You know, you can normally get a call from like all your agents, and it's a good thing, right? Um, but I, Lauren called me to hire me, right? So he did not call me to fire me. Uh, that was pretty hard. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't do that part. Um, but but uh, that place is a pretty good rotation. Like I've heard a yeah. lot of people. There's been very many successful people that have been fired. Oh sure, yeah. Look, plenty. Adam Sandler got fired. Sandler got which fired. Is Jenny fucking Slate. insane. Yeah, him and he... and Farley and Spade and Schneider like got fired after three years. I Did think. Chris Farley get fired? Yeah, they all got fired together. Why? They swapped out all these stand-ups for improv uh, people. Improv people, and at the time, I think like you know people were like, "Oh, the show's not good anymore like it used to be," and now we're like, "Those are the best years." Those were. Yeah. The best yeah. years. Mm-hmm. Although I will say right now, I think it's really great. There was a couple years where I just couldn't even watch it. Yeah. But I love Keenan Thompson and love. uh love. And, He's uh, the best, by he's the way. I like a good person. Miss him too, the yeah. most. Yeah, yeah. he seems like a just mm-hmm. a fucking bowl of joy. He is. Yeah, he, yeah, like, he I just want to hug him when I Wouldn't watch it be him. such a bummer if Keenan was not like the nicest guy ever, but he Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're like actually he's a total fucking <laughs> yeah, dick. Yeah, he yeah, knows yeah. he's funny as shit and he's nope. an asshole. No, he nope. knows just sweet he, and like full of hugs. He just looks like, like he is just joy and I used to watch <clears throat> all that, which was yeah. like my favorite show. Yeah. Do you remember that of show course. on Nickelodeon? The best. I grew up on that show and yeah. so he was like him and like him and uh, Amanda Bynes, all those people, they, they were that was the shit. That oh, was yeah. like SNL for for Nickelodeon. Kids. Yeah, he's literally been doing sketch Forever. comedy for. I mean, he's in his forties, I think. He is. I know that's crazy. What? I know. I know. Keenan Thompson is forty. I know. I know. <laughs> is that wild? 
<laughs> Dead. Okay, we're going to take a quick break with John Rudnitsky, and we're going to hear more about his failures when we get back. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I'm just joking now. So You're very successful, and we're going to talk no, about, I, listen, okay. no, you know I what? I have failed many no, times. we all have. And then yes. the, what the thing is, is you're like a phoenix, okay? A beautiful phoenix who's risen from yes. the ashes That's and right. is reincarnated into young Willem Dafoe. Yeah, who's old killing Jew, it, both an old Jewish who's woman. Who's been in thing, movies with Reese Witherspoon <clears throat> and George Clooney. And stay tuned, and we're going to talk all about this as we come back on Worst First. Okay, yay. <laughs> so, you know, when I go to the store to buy tampons and pads and things like that, it's always kind of a struggle for me, believe it or not, because I have been so paranoid. I have endometriosis and all kinds of problems. And I'm like, you know, what is in these pads? What is in these tampons? Is it safe? I'm putting these products in my body and I'm reading the description and I don't recognize a lot of the ingredients a lot of the times. And so I actually found out about this company called Lola. And Lola is a modern approach to feminine care. It's a female-founded company that offers a line of organic tampons, pads, liners, and all-natural cleansing wipes. The founders, Jordana Keir and Alexandra Friedman, started the company with a simple and seemingly obvious idea. You know, women shouldn't have to compromise when it comes to their feminine care products. You know, if you, if you care about ingredients and the food that you eat and the beauty products, then why shouldn't the same be for feminine care products? And you know, currently the FDA does not make these feminine care companies list what is in these products. And I mean, you're putting this thing inside your body. So this company, Lola, completely amazing. The products are 100% organic cotton with no added chemicals, no fragrances, no synthetics, and no dyes, okay? They make your month a bit easier. You can build your box of tampons or pads, 18 tampons, 12 pads or whatever, mix it up however you want. It's delivered to your door in a completely discreet box so no one's going, oh, your tampons are here. Uh, how embarrassing. Um, no, everything is completely packaged discreetly. They're gynecologist approved. They're hypoallergenic. And by the way, for you guys, you get 40% off all subscriptions by visiting my Lola, that's M Y L O L A dot com, and enter the promo code Brittany, that's my name, B R I T T A N Y, when you subscribe for your membership and you get 40% off. You don't have to worry about running to the store, buying products that, you know, you don't know what's inside of them. You get these delivered to your, you know, door every month, you know, change the boxes you need, less of this, more of that, more pads, more liners, less wipes, this or that. You can customize your box every month, discreetly delivered to you and 40% off at mylola.com with the promo code Brittany, B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y when you subscribe. And I really hope that you guys take advantage of this offer and take care of your bodies. Enjoy. Everyone likes to get therapy, I think, you know? I mean, at least I do. I think everyone, you know, the one thing in my life is constantly when I talk to people and I'm struggling or anything, they say, you know, are you talking to a therapist? And I notice the times in my life when I'm not talking to a therapist, things are a lot tougher. So the problem is mostly for me is that I hate having to make the appointment, get in my car, drive to the therapist. Like, it's just annoying to me. So I actually found out about this company, BetterHelp, betterhelp.com, where you get matched with your own licensed professional therapist online. You can Skype, you can text, you can chat, you can phone, you can video, whatever, available on desktop, mobile, web, Android, iOS apps. It's easy and free to change the counselors. So if you don't like somebody, you get matched with somebody I don't like the way this person, I'm not vibing with them, whatever, you get switched with a new counselor, no problem. And, you know, it's all it's all a plan for you. It's scheduled live sessions, unlimited messaging. You know, there's different messaging plans. Financial aid is available for those who qualify. It's, you know, completely like visiting a regular therapist. Everything is secure, convenient, professional. And, you know, the greatest part is it's affordable. So that's the really great thing is if you go to betterhelp.com, B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash worst W O R S T and enter the promo code worst at checkout. You get 10% off your first month of better help. And the greatest thing is 4,000 U.S. licensed therapists across all 50 states on here. So, you know, you're going to find somebody that works for you. And the great thing is, you know, you don't have to worry about leaving your house, especially for people that struggle with that. I mean, I personally struggle 
with leaving my house sometimes. And it's nice that this is a, you're in the convenience of your own home. You can be comfy in bed on your laptop and talking with a therapist and working through things. And so, yeah, if you're looking to get this help, it's amazing. You can start communicating in under 24 hours. You just head on over to betterhelp.com slash worst, W-O-R-S-T, and enter the promo code worst, W-O-R-S-T, at checkout for 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. Good luck. Hey, Worst Firsters. Um, I actually wanted to share this company with you. I know I've shared that I use CBD for my anxiety uh, online. If you follow me there, you've seen that I used it. And it tends to be really helpful as opposed to taking benzos, which can be highly addictive. So this company, Modern CBD, moderncbd.com, that's M-D-R-N-C-B-D.com, They have come to me and they are doing a great offer for you guys. The special offer is you go to moderncbd.com and you enter my code WORST, W-O-R-S-T, for 30% off of your order and free shipping. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit more about CBD and how it's helped me. So I've used CBD drops that I put under my tongue and when I'm having a panic or anxiety attack, it really helps calm me down. Um, And there's only like a couple companies that I think are really trusted and they're good resources for hemp derived CBD products and just CBD in general. Um, So this is one of them. The team at Modern CBD curates the best CBD products from only the most reputable brands. All Modern CBD products have passed strict quality control procedures and have been tried by Modern's team of CBD experts. Modern CBD is your go-to website for all CBD products. There's free shipping on all the orders, and they have only the top-selling brands that use USA-grown hemp. So you're not getting, like, you know, CBD from Ecuador. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but, you know, you got to stay safe. So there's full transparency on the products. So you know what they you know, what's in them, what you're getting and the lab results, which is really cool are available on the site. So if you go to moderncbd.com, that's m d r n c b d dot com, you can look up the lab results of what is in these products. So if you want to show them to your doctor, you have any questions, it's all there. So if you're interested and you want 30% off and free shipping, if you've never tried CBD, this is probably a good a good place to start. So you can go to mdrncbd.com and enter WORST, W-O-R-S-T, for 30% off of your order. I'm going to say it one more time just in case you didn't get a chance to write it down. It's Modern CBD. You can just Google moderncbd.com or you can go to mdrncbd.com cbd.com and enter the promo code worst w-o-r-s-t for 30 percent off of your order and free shipping hope this helps okay guys we are back with john rudnitsky oh am i saying it right i am yes. rudnitsky yes not rudnitsky correct rudnitsky yeah sorry that was yeah rudnitsky of me to say <laughs> rudnitsky <laughs> Um, okay, so good. we're back with John. He's telling Love us like that. what it's like to go through all this shit with SNL. I'm so glad I never auditioned because I probably would have killed myself. I can barely leave my house. So um, yeah. yeah, no, it's great to be here. It's great you to be here. You live in a nice house. <laughs> I do have a nice house. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that helps. That helps. That's probably why I'm like, there's a koi pond in here. Why would I go why anywhere? Why would you go anywhere? Right? I have a koi pond in my yeah. house. Well, that, why? I'm rich. No, I, I'm just kidding. I'm not, guys. My, my husband is. I'm poor. No, I'm not. I'm actually very successful, but. My husband's very successful. I happen to think that if I got Koi Pond Rich, I'm good. <laughs> that should be a title. <laughs> Koi, Koi Pond, Pond Rich. Rich. That should be your But you know what's uh, yeah, so funny? Bio, no matter how rich or successful you are, everyone still has like issues. Like I still have problems. Like yeah. it's like I keep I've kept thinking my whole life, like when I was poor and I used to live in like a studio apartment that had like a shower in the corner of the same room. Of, yeah, sure, <laughs> of sure, bed, sure, of course. I used to think, Oh my god, when I have so much money, my life is gonna be so great. I'm never gonna have to worry about another thing again. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, it's yeah. so not true. Like, if you don't address your issues while you're poor, they follow you sure. with your money. Yeah. Like, they, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah I, 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 I it gotta doesn't, remind myself of that. It's like, you gotta remember that. It's like, very difficult in LA because, like, <clears throat> you, you keep looking <clears throat> forward. Well, literally, you look up 
at the hills and you see all the rich people. Yeah. You know, you see all these houses. Yeah. And I mean, the way the city is built yeah. is like, there's like the, there's everyone's up there. I know. And, and, it's and, like and a the, society. And it gets poor and poor as it yes, goes down. So you're like, how do I get up there? Yep. And when I get up there, I'll be happy. Um, and the problem is, I really do think if I had a coin pond, I probably would be happy. Dead. Do you know what? <laughs> I mean, I think I'd be happier. Yeah. I don't think it would solve certainly all the problems, and that's... No, I mean, like, it's definitely, I think, a thing to, like, you know, I mean, I went from literally living in a a, a, a rented place that was, like, $500 a month, yeah. like, East L.A., yeah. ghetto, like, next to a weed dispensary, and, like, just so horrible yeah, yeah, yeah. to, like, living where I live now, and... It's crazy. It's crazy. And I've had a Yorkie, a little Yorkie wicket, who has been with me the entire time. Wow, he's like, what did we do? And I don't know, we are crushing Sometimes it. I just catch him looking at me like, damn, bitch. Like, he looks at me like, bitch, I remember. Like, I remember. Like, he's like my last <laughs> yeah, tie to, yeah. like, my poor days. Yeah, 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 And right. sometimes I think he just looks at me like, we've seen some shit. Wow. Like, you know, he just makes that eye contact. It's I so funny. That. He's like this little old Yorkie. It, but it's he's very lived with rare me. you hear a rags to riches story from Dude. the POV of the dog. Oh my god, the dog! Like he's, he's like, I remember it. when I used to have to pee on fucking cement and a fuck next to a crackhead who's <laughs> yeah. dying in an alley. Yeah. Now I got fucking now I, yeah. billions of pieces of grass, like yeah. acres I can of shit grass anywhere. Can shit anywhere. I got a guy who's gonna I got pick a it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got my own bedroom. Bidet. Like yeah. what the fuck? He's freaked oh out. God. Yeah, but he loves it. He's so happy. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Wakey. Act like he's listening. Wakey, mommy loves you. He might be. Good be. Clearly crazy. Rich dogs. Can <laughs> communicate. Which right? dogs listen to podcasts? Yeah, they do. <laughs> they have that kind of time. I'm dead. Um. So yeah. So I wanted. So you. So you got. How, so you got the phone call from your agents one day. How long were you there? And before I just did a season. So how long? And so season? and and also the thing is like I'm from Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your manager Brian Lieberman, who's here right yeah. now. I grew up with him. I love him. Yeah, yeah I love Brian. Shout out to Brian Lieberman. Yeah. So when I got the job, it was like I had like a. a you know, my family and friends are all back home. It was like, like the first big thing. Like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm moving back to New York, yeah. but also on SNL, yeah. like on the they were job. like, oh my God, we all got my it. son's going to be famous. Yeah. Your mom's like, already was, selling yeah. your autograph on eBay. I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. 100%. We, we were like, we all got SNL, you know? Right, right. So I think there was like, you know, even in the intro of the show, you know, when they say your name, it's like me and my friends walking down, my childhood so buddies, cool. and my brother's walking down the street. And so then when you lose it, it's kind of like, Really devastating because oh, it's no. like you just oh, replay guys. that clip over and over yeah, again. Exactly. On your, you yeah. post it every day on your Insta story. Oh, my God. You guys remember this? Guys Throwback remember when Thursday. I, remember They're when like, I John, did. it's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Throwback every day. You fucking assholes. Miley, is it still your number? Oh uh, my God. Yeah, no, it was. Uh, so it's like pretty devastating. So I left. I left New York. Mm -hmm. I was like, I gotta get out of New York. I gotta go back to L.A. Um, because I I was in New York because of the job. I moved right, there for right, the right. job. It was like a bad breakup. You know, Aww. and everything would remind me of the show. And I was like, I can't be here on Saturday nights and just not on the show. So I moved back and then, and then I ended up uh, doing the Reese Witherspoon movie like a month later. Oh so my it, God. So like, great. So, so I was like really scared and sad for a very short period of time. You had like three days of being depressed. And then you're like, you booked a movie with Reese Witherspoon. You're like, yay. Yay, I'm Life happy again. Life is good again. again. Yeah, yeah, it was great. You're lucky. Yeah. You, you are, but also you work very hard. Yeah, it's a mix of the two. It's a lot, it's isn't a it? You have two. to, people say like, oh, you're just so lucky. But like, no, you got to really like, you got to hustle. Yeah, there's I definitely, it's a, I really do think it's a combination of everything. Mm -hmm. Like I, I remember I spoke at my college graduation for the theater school. At Everyone was like, is that, jo who's that? John, John, John Rudnitsky, <laughs> John. Oh, is he? Oh, okay. He's John Paul Rudnitsky. So he's is he Paul Rudd's I cousin? I have to tell you my Paul That's Rudd so story. Okay, tell also, me the Paul, Rudd story. Paul Rudd story. But anyway, I was I I spoke in my commencement speech and I said, you know, it was to the theater school, and I'm like, we're all oh fucked, God. you know, yeah. we're, you know, we all picked the wrong thing to <laughs> spend four years focusing on. We wasted our money, and then in the audience was the head of this big management company out here, and she signed me that day. So I'm oh like, my God. that that would be an example of. L of luck, luck, and an opportunity, an opportunity. Meaning, so you know, you gotta and things, things like that would happen. The dirty dancing thing, you know, 
and just moments like that that really like defined and changed my life. Yeah, but also this is you. Like you but brought, also, yeah, you but it's brought also, uh, the, you're you. Yeah, you you're the performer. You're the one that came up with the ideas. You're the creative talent. Right. That's what it is. That's, and that's why. So I, give when yourself it goes well. a goddamn pat on the back, would you? All ya? right, fine. Yeah, there you go. Come Thank on. Thank you. Come on. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Um. So okay. So you have another story you want to tell me about when you were first moving into an apartment oh, yeah, in LA. First, yeah, my first apartment um, after uh, college. I moved into like a pretty nice place in Santa Monica with my buddy. Who How'd was, you get that after college? Um. I had a. I was getting a little bit of help from, oh, from your parents. It wasn't really. It wasn't a really. It wasn't a really okay. nice. I mean, I was also. Also driving for Lyft and dancing at bar mitzvahs. So stop. I was like, you were dancing at bar mitzvahs. Yeah, I was a bar mitzvah dan- dance, like hype man. Oh my god! Like I would do the photo booth, but then I also would do like the, so, like not a DJ. The, the you just run around screaming, <laughs> getting everyone excited. Like <laughs> the get up, Grandpa! Let's fucking do the cha cha slide. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, very yeah, Jewish. Yeah. The cha cha slide, <laughs> very it's, traditional it's, Jewish it's, dance. It's, yes. It is right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, the horror. I love and it. The and the cha cha slide. slide. I, they're both yeah. very, you know. Yeah, it's, it's very intense. Um, yeah. for Judaism, I yeah. love that. Every bris I've ever gone to. Yeah, that's very niche joke. Uh, for the audience, because <laughs> I'm like hoping that 18 year old Jewish, <laughs> a lot of Jewish 18 year old, yeah, I think that follow me. I don't know. Yeah, are you Jewish? I am. You are. Yeah. 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 Paul Rudnitsky. Paul, Ru- Paul Rudnitsky. Paul yeah, Rudnitsky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, oh, so, so, uh, you get your apartment, your luxurious apartment in Santa Monica. That your expensive Jewish parents pay for your parents. Doctors. What are they? No, Lawyers? my my dad, my mom's a, a geriatric social worker. My parents are divorced. And my mom's a social worker, married to a chiropractor, and then my but my dad was like a done well in hotels. He, oh, he was like uh, a hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he like ran Wyndham for a little bit. So he's, know, he's okay. done. Oh, the Wyndham. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah okay, yeah. okay. So he's your dad's... he's done he's done well. Uh, so you're like Hilton Light. Extra life, extra life, yeah. like uh, yeah, Marriott Courtyard, Marriott Courtyard, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. great, Hilton Garden Inn, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so <laughs> Embassy Suites, <laughs> maybe at best. So I'm just gonna start so, listing. By the way, you guys this know podcast is brought to you Motel from <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Quality Inn. I can't. Okay, so we you, don't know quality. So your dad, <laughs> so your dad gives you money to buy to rent an apartment in San Marcos. He little, yeah, he, gives me, he helps me out with my uh, my buddy who's at USC Law School. Uh huh. And this apartment, you could like, I guess like across the way, it's all old people who live in this like apartment Why in Santa Monica. Why did you live here? I don't know, because I was like, it has a lot of sunlight. It's nice. Oh, my and, God. And You're like was. the same thing the old people like, eh, it's got nice windows <laughs> for sunlight. I'm old. I need it on my old raisiny skin. Yeah, oh, my what, God. It's like such a uptight, stiff kind of place. And um, I have some buddies over. I remember one night. And the, everyone can hear everything. And the, there's like three little apartments like right across this alleyway. Oh, my God. And we're on our balcony. And we're up late. And we're like 22 years old. And we're drinking and we're like making you know disgusting awful jokes and saying cr- things loud and yeah crazy, like yeah. you know like like you know it really like you know pretending to get fucked by a horse or like Ew, you like name what whatever what kind of friends do you <laughs> have <laughs> John. Whatever, like, I can't think of it now, but I'm like, whatever it was, it was, like, disgusting and awful and something you, like, but, like, silly and... You know, just, like, guys (laughs) fucking horse horse videos. Just totally normal and chill. I wasn't actually doing that, just making dumb jokes, you know? And, but all the jokes, you know? Right, right, right. And... And loud. So And loud. And my roommate, who's, like, in law school, is like, you have to keep it down. Like, we're gonna get you know we're gonna get in trouble and yeah whatever so we go out there we come back later and we're drinking again and then so from from down the from across the way i hear shut the fuck up oh my god old man withers old man withers banging his cane on the door hey shut the fuck up kids that damn kids are so loud we fucked horses back in our day in peace no one ever knew we were Mules. fucking the horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were quiet. <laughs> and we were quiet about it. Never was a problem. And it cost a shekel. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could fuck a horse no problem back then. <laughs> now the dicks are huge. I'm dead. Okay, kids, go ahead. So, um... So, they're ba- old man withers across oh, the Oh, yeah, door. so somebody else shut the fuck up. It actually wasn't an old man voice. It was oh, like a, a scary guy's voice. Oh. And, um, my, I didn't tell my roommate you know, that we had gotten yelled at because he's right. so freaked out that we're going to get kicked right. out of this place the first week. Yeah. So he's, he's like studying, you know. Of course, he's in law school. He's miserable. At his desk, yeah. like, you Just know, the next Adderall. day. Just eating Adderall. 
He's got the he's got the yeah exactly he's got the door open mm-hmm. and he hears a woman and a guy come out of the door the apartments across the way and he's like did you hear those guys last night she's like yeah she's like we need to get them thrown out of here they're fucking ter- you know they're terrible you know they're they're, they're like they're, conspiring yeah to they're get like you guys- guys, we're like we're writing a letter to the, and my my roommates are sitting home like god damn it John like um, why did you know we're smoking pot we're just yeah, like yeah, you know the worst the worst you know yeah. a bunch of frat guys moved in next door right, right, you know right. the old age home right. So I'm like freaking out. I'm like, what do I, Nathan's like, you're going to get me kicked out of here. You got to do something. So I go to my other friend. He goes, why don't you just say, look, why don't you just go? You got to go and apologize. Say, look, I'm a comedian. My friends are, by the way, at the time, I was like barely a comedian. I was like, I'm a comedian. My friends are comedians. You know, we we don't mean any of the things we say. It's all jokes, you know? We all have mental problems. We need yeah, substance yeah. abuse to, to calm is, our minds. Which is true. Yeah, which, is which, true is which is true. true. Like, yeah, yeah, we yeah. say disgusting, yeah. awful things, yeah. but when comedians say it, it's it's yeah, it's yeah. a joke. It's you a know, that's help. how we yeah. deal. Yeah, <laughs> that's how we cope. With it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're 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 just spiraling all, all day, yeah. every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just deflecting my negative thoughts. Right. So, uh, so then, um, Nathan's sitting at the uh, the table, and he's like, "You got to go down there." So I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this." So I go downstairs. Oh and I knock on the first apartment. You put a suit on. There's for three of our, yeah. Hello, it's me. Get all dialed up. Axe body spray. Uh, that would be a bad call. Always <laughs> grossest. Um, and so I knock on the door. This guy answers. And uh-huh. I go, hey, listen, that was me and my friends the other night. I'm sorry. I know we said some disgusting, awful things. But I'm a comedian. My friends are comedians. We say a lot of terrible things. But we don't mean them. You know, it's yeah. all in good fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, uh, oh, I was... Uh, not here this weekend. <laughs> you uh, you might want to go next door though, because maybe they heard it. Yeah, I, I haven't been around, but thanks for thanks you know, for the apology. Thanks for the heads up, and now I know. And if it makes you feel any better, I like fucking horse porn <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, 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 dope. Okay, so yeah, and so then I go next door. next door. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I, I I go upstairs and Nathan's just cracking up. He's oh, like, "You got to go back down." I so know. then I'm like, "Okay, I'll go back down." Door number two. I open up. I see. Yeah, there's a woman there. She's watering her plants. I'm like, hey. She's like, oh, hi. I'm like, I'm the guy from up there. She's like, oh, you. Oh. And I go, listen, my friends are comedians. I'm a comedian. I don't mean any of the things I say. We don't mean any of the things that I say. You know, we say it's all, you know, yeah. uh, in jest. And, and she goes, oh, you're a comedian. She goes, why didn't you say so? She goes, totally fine. Just keep it down from now on. And if you ever have a show, let me know. I'll bring some friends. I'm like. Wow. Oh, wow. The, the comedian card really does work. You like tell people you're yeah. a comedian, you get yeah. away with anything. Like yeah. it's comedy. Yeah, that's what, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's it. what I'm saying. Yeah. So then I go and then I go, Well, I gotta go to the the third door. Mm-hmm. You know, there's three doors mm-hmm. and this is gonna be shut the fuck oh up God, guy. Because the first three. guy yeah. was not yeah. shut yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah, up yeah, guy. Yeah. So. The first guy was into the horse porn. So I go around the corner to get in there and there's you open the I open a door and there's stairs going straight up. Oh, I'm like, this is like the final level. No. If this is a yeah, video yeah, game, he's, this he was is the a, boss. Yeah, you had to yeah, beat yeah, the boss yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made it to made it to the boss level. Yeah. yeah. And there was like a doggy gate at the top. Stop. It says beware of and dog. And he comes out shirtless and he's like jacked and he's pacing at the top of the stairs. I'm like, hello? He's like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm like, uh... His pit bulls standing next to him ready to bite your dick off. (laughs) They're both jacked. They're both wearing tank tops with gold chains. What's up? I mean, literally. Literally. (laughs) That's what it felt like. In my memory, that's what it was. Final boss, and it's all finish him. (laughs) Where'd that come from? Here I go. I know. I know. I wish I knew, like, the code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X, uh, square. (laughs) He's like, what is this guy talking about? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm like, uh, I'm a... The guy from across the way. Uh, I'm I think, a comedian. I, I said, I think you're shut the fuck up guy. No, you didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said, I think you're shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah, guy. Yeah, he goes, he goes, you got a lot of nerve. Let me tell you something. You guys are being loud. You're smoking pot. You're saying gross, disgusting, vulgar jokes or whatever, you know? And I'm like, listen, you know, I'm, I'm a comedian. Oh, my <laughs> God. are comedians. And, you know, we don't mean anything to say. He goes, hey, listen. Takes a lot of balls to come over here and say what you did. He's like, also especially takes- to me and Petunia. <laughs> his fucking, his I like that his pit bull's name is Petunia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> me and Sprinkles. <laughs> we would have fucking kicked your ass, you know. <laughs> oh my so, god! So then he, he yeah. so what happened? So and then he goes, oh, it takes a lot of balls to get on stage. You know what? Got a lot of respect for you. Thanks for coming over and saying something. You know, I got a friend that works at Comedy Central. You know, leave your headshot here one day. Uh, well, yeah, and just try to keep it down. So that was my story of my first 
apartment I ever lived wow, in. Wow, you actually got off so easy. And I learned about the comedian card. The comedian card. It's a comedian card, yeah. huh? Yeah. It sucks that you can't really use it much anymore, though. Like, people make really, really vulgar jokes and rude jokes. And you yeah. used to be like, oh, but it's comedy, so we get away with it, right? Yeah. But now you make those jokes, and people don't take that that anymore. Yeah. They're like, oh, the... if you make a joke about, you know, rape oh, or anything the, like there's that. There's the Twitter You can't. And, the, dude, you know. they will come for you, and yeah. they will hang you, and they will cancel you. I think there's a good you. and bad to that. I mean, I yeah. think, like, you know... PC cultures definitely made me just try to make smarter jokes. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to make jokes about the worst things, you better have like a very smart take. Yeah. It, which I get. I mean, at 22, oh, God knows what we were doing. It, 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 they probably weren't even jokes. There was just probably like being obnoxious, you know? Right. You guys but, were probably just like, <laughs> horse cock. <laughs> horse cock. Like, yeah, whatever. Why are they just yelling about horse, horse cocks? cocks. That's yeah. weird. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I feel you. I actually, it's so yeah. funny when you were telling this story, it reminded me of a story when yeah. I was broke and I first started dating this guy and we were broke together and we, we had to move into an apartment complex and so we find this like yeah. really good deal we find a two bedroom apartment in West Hollywood yeah and it was only fifteen hundred dollars for a two bedroom, which yeah. is insane, right? At the time, yeah. and now it's like insane. You can't even get that anywhere. And, and the and the community that was is wild. It was an old Russian community. Right. Everyone There's in the There's always a catch like that. That right? was the catch. Everyone yeah. in the building, someone just died. And so, uh, 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 you know, a room became available. Right. And I, like, the body's happened. still there. Yeah, when the body's you move still there. They're going to yeah. move it. But, you know, so they, I'm walking by and I see them moving this person's stuff out. And I go, oh my God, is there an apartment for rent? And, and this guy's Russian. He's like, oh, yeah, the one apartment. And I'm all, how much? And he goes, 1500 Don't ask like, How many bedrooms? Yeah, He's yeah. like, two. And I'm like, oh my God. And I go in, it's all hardwood floors. Yeah. Nice, yep. clean. A little bit I'm of blood. Like, okay, yeah, tiny bit of blood. A little <laughs> smells like Chernobyl. It's like, you know, it's all good, though. So I literally, I, I go in, I'm like, oh, my God, I have to get this apartment, right? And I don't even, like, think that, you know, this everyone who's moving this furniture out is a Russian person, an older Russian person, which is great. You know, yeah, love yeah. that. But, like, how are they going to deal with me and my new boyfriend, right, and yeah, our dogs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... We, oh my god, dude! So we move into yeah, this yeah. apartment building. Oh my god! It's the middle of summer. It's so fucking hot. Oh, we have Jesus. a window a air conditioner that kind of like you know circulates through the whole thing. It oh, works yeah. great. So yeah. we have it on, okay. right? We're we're getting ready to go to bed that night. The air conditioner's on, and we hear like a at our door. Oh no! And I'm like what the fuck who's banging at our door at 12 o'clock at night you know like this is scary we just moved in you know we're like just getting settled i open the door and it's five of the neighbors okay russian neighbors who do not speak any english at all and they go the guy walks into our apartment without even asking walks in and he points at the air conditioner and he goes condition off and we were like Con condition off like Turn it off? No, because it's hot. It's like 100 degrees in L.A. No, leave it on. It's hot. And then he takes me by the hand, and he takes me outside. What? And he points to all the other condition air conditioners in people's windows, and he goes, look, off, 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 off. Condition off. After 6 p.m., off. Everyone. And I was like, why? And he's like, too loud, too loud. So, like, apparently this whole community together – communally turns their Agreed. air conditioners off at 6 p.m. every night because it's too noisy. Oh, my. And they're not even noisy. It's like it's an air conditioner. Right. You know? it's, it's a also fucking window it's unit. Noise. And it's yeah. fucking, it's, it's white noise. And it's, and it's so, it's so hot. Like, I'm telling you, like, it's, you know, it's L.A. hot. It gets, it gets, yeah. she gets hot oh in this, in, in L.A. And so I was like, no, no, we're leaving it on, right? So then... Every, Good for you. I'm scared. So scared, right? Yeah. So then every day for like an entire yeah. year, uh -huh. this guy and his group of freaking thugs, yeah. every time I would walk by them, they would say fucked up shit in Russian to me. Like disgusting, like spit on the ground. Like they hated me, right? Yeah. Hated. Because of the air conditioning. Because of the air conditioning. Because of the air conditioning. In L.A. Because summer. they were like, they hated that we wouldn't turn it off. They yeah. actually told the manager, and then he called us and was like, can you turn it off? And I was like, dude, I'm fucking, it's so hot. No, we can't turn it off. And we're paying more rent than all these people. You know what I mean? Because like, yeah, they yeah. were all rent controlled. Yeah, yeah. They were probably like paying $400 a month. Meanwhile, right, right. we're the new people paying 1500 Yeah. yeah. So, so. You're going to. Toe to toe with the mob. Going toe here. to toe, like I like thought they were gonna have us killed, right? Yeah. So then it just became everything became a problem. Like the way I parked my car, he would come out and be like, "No park, 
over line. Like my car would be like this much on the line. The the spaces were like like yeah, seriously yeah. so tight, and I was like, oh my god, like there's no room. Like to, he'd be like, no over line. Like yeah. everything it was a problem. You this know what I mean? Was Putin. It was Putin it was, was your very landlord, dictatorship. Yeah. Like I lived under Russian dictatorship for like wow. a year. But let me tell you what changed yeah. the game. Yeah. So I actually at the time had only had my dachshund Meg, who's mm-hmm. a, it was a wiener dog, and then we got a puppy, yeah. Yorkie named Wicket, and he was this big. And these guys hated us, like hated, hated, hated. I told you every time I walked by them to go to like an audition or something, they'd yeah. be like, Puh! like say fucked up shit, spit on the ground, whatever. Right? These yeah, old yeah, guys, yeah. and they were always sitting in lawn chairs out front. Like I'm like, what is there to look at? I don't know, but that's what they were doing. Always anyway, had to be always. So I get a puppy, Wicket. And one day, you know, Wiki's like gets gets out, you know, and he's running around, and the he runs up to the guy who hates me, and he's at this guy's feet, and I was like, oh my god, this is gonna, he's gonna step on my dog, and he's gonna kill it because he's evil and like whatever. This guy's face goes from being like the angriest, most fucked up (laughs) piece of shit, angry dude. His heart melts. Melts, and he goes. And he picks up my Yorkie and it starts licking his face and he's like, oh, and he's like petting the, the Yorkie because Wicket was like literally wow. like like seriously oh so tiny, like maybe God. a pound. And he melted and he brought his wife out and her, the kids and their kids and all everybody came out to see the, <laughs> the Yorkie, family. the whole family that was living in the apartment, literally in Russia. the one bedroom apartment. Yeah, 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 all of Russia came to see <laughs> the dog and they all came out yeah. and he was like, oh, and now since that. Yeah. He was so nice to me, and every time I would go somewhere, he would want to play with the dog. Wow! How crazy there is that? You go. So like, like you know, it's like and so. You could, do, you could use the air conditioning after six. Of course. I point. mean, I was doing it anyway. Right. But like, it was just so crazy how this guy literally for an entire year like tortured me the way I parked, like you know, giving me dirty looks when I walked by, spitting on the ground, saying Wicked. fucked up shit in in Russian when I walked by with his Russian friends, like. And this is like an old guy. This is like a, like a 60, 70 year old person, right? Yeah, sure. More seventy, and then when he saw the dog, looked a hundred, looked one hundred and seventy. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Looked like he just got out of war. But yeah, like, yeah. so, so he. But then with Wicket, he was like so nice. Then afterwards, and he would always ask. He would knock on our door and ask to to, to hang play out with the, with the dog. dog. You'd be like knocking late at yeah, night. Yeah, goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is air the, conditioning is, fine. Is, is the dog you come the out dog and play? Okay. Is yeah. the dog and they ki- kisses? Yeah. Kisses? Like who doesn't love a dog? Just licks before bed. Some please. kisses before bed. Yeah. Yes, very good for the heart. Um, but yeah, so that's basically, yeah. uh, you know, that's life. That's crazy. That's life. Yeah. Isn't that kind of crazy? And then to think that you were in that apartment and now. Oh my God, you're I've lived. That Koi okay, so I like literally lived in the most shitty situations. Like I've lived in some really shitty apartments and then it just progressively got better it literally was like levels like i started in my studio apartment yeah and then i oh actually i'm I'm sorry i'm wrong i started in an apartment in downtown la when i first moved here at 17 and it was twenty four hundred dollars a month, and I saved up all my savings. To, and I thought that because I thought downtown LA was like New York City, so I moved to downtown in oh, two thousand five. No, oh no! When there was nothing, no grocery oh, store, no. nothing. Because I had no shady. idea. I just it's wanted very, to come to LA. It's so shady. Se- yeah. There was like tumbleweeds of like HIV rolling. I'm down surprised the it was that expensive. Actually, it was very expensive. It was in the I was in the Medici, the like resort. I know the living. Medici because I went to USC and I lived in the Medici. All the very like wealthy kids yes. lived in the and I lived there and I spent all my savings there and then when I ran out of savings I met some girls and we moved into a house in Hollywood anyway totally like years later now here I am it's kind of crazy wow isn't that insane that is insane I was like wow you're doing all right I never thought I would make anything of myself and neither did my parents they were like oh, just come home you and now what do they think yeah. are they proud now of you they're like oh, what are you a webcam girl what do you do I'm like <laughs> we're not sure uh we're not sure anymore vine's gone so what do you do now yeah. we're, not, we're not really sure but do they yeah. get along with Tommy do they, they love they, Tommy they do they do, they do. yeah, yeah my good. dad loves Tommy yeah. um you know he's fun He's like very funny. Yeah. You have to meet him. He's, I would love to meet him. It's actually him. so funny because people are like, course, what are you be the guys? Coolest. Like they think that like we're such a weird couple, which yes, we are. But like if they knew him and knew me, they'd be like, oh my God, yeah. it makes total sense. Because he's very, very, he loves to laugh. Yeah. And I'm so goofy. So yeah. it's like constant just like. 
I we're entertaining each other. You know it's, what I mean? It's necessary. If you're a silly person, you know, I it's mean, good then to you be need with to you need people. to be. Yeah, I couldn't be in any other situation. Is your girlfriend funny? She's very funny. See, so. hot hot only takes you so far. Like hot's yeah. great, right? We all love hot. Hot is great. We love it. Sexy sure. boobies, but it only vaginas, lasts. It only all lasts that. So long, yes. But then eventually, Boobies, you vaginas, know, you're fucking yeah. the same vagina and looking yeah, at the same, same tits bouncing same up and down pe- for years. Penis. How did you describe those penis? penis? Yeah. <laughs> but if the person doesn't have anything else to offer, yeah. that's what I think the problem is, you know? Yeah. And then that's why I think now, you know, my husband's like, okay, like, I'm not the hottest girl, but I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're the hottest and oh the funniest. God, John. All right. I'll give you 45 minutes to stop that. Um, <laughs> anyway, guys, make sure to follow John. John, tell tell him your Instagram. Uh, it's my name, which is real Jesus hard Christ. to spell. spell that out John for Rudnitsky, J-O-N-R-U-D-N-I-T-S-K-Y, Catch-22. Slash Soviet Union. Yeah, slash Soviet <laughs> underscore, your landlord. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, Catch-22. Oh, Catch-22 on, on Hulu. Hulu. Watch yeah. that. He's John is on the Hulu show, Ch- Catch-22, and then the movie you did with Reese Witherspoon was- um, Home Again. Home Again, That's, which I, I heard believe, about it. Yeah, I think uh, available on Amazon. Amazon. Uh, and, yeah. and, and iTunes, I'm sure. iTunes, absolutely. Guys, make sure to watch that. It has, yeah. it has Reese Witherspoon, America's Sweetheart, and John, and it's just the best. And thank you so much for being here, John. Thank you for having me. And I'll be doing stand-up, you know, and uh, I'll be in Syracuse. Yes, I'm be in Phoenix coming up. Six, six, so come on through. Come see yeah, some Yeah, go shows. to his, guys, go to John's Instagram. Make sure to go see him. He's been doing stand up for a while i promise you won't be disappointed and if you were if you are come back write me a letter and i'll read it on the podcast all right great <laughs> and i'll john- listen and cry <laughs> john thank you so much for being here guys stay tuned for next week's worst first thank you all so much for all your positive feedback and comments i love you all so much and we're- bye